How you going? It's Lee from Outback Fencing here. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to install one of our PVC fences. So what you want to do first is uh, run your string line along the length where you want the fence. Generally what I like to do is to run the string line to the bottom uh, rail of a full privacy fence or a semi-privacy fence. Uh, when you're doing a post and rail fence, uh, you can't really uh, do that. But um, yeah, so I like to run my string line and uh, make sure that that's all nice and level. Uh, and what we've got here as well, um, with all of our PVC fences, uh, the post and rail, full privacy and the semi-privacy, uh, it works out to be 2450 centres. So I've cut this rail at uh, 2450. Um, so basically what you do is lay this down and work out where your first post's gonna be. And I just like to use a bit of paint to mark out where the posts are going to go. And obviously if you've got two of these rails, you just keep continu uh, continuing along, uh, along the uh, length of the boundary to work out uh, you know, all your panel, where your holes are going to go. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to dig our holes. Now with a PVC fence, I generally say uh, a 250 by 250 or even 300 by 300 hole, uh, depending on how hardcore you want to go, um, and approximately 600 to 700 mil deep. Now I've got uh, some double-handed shovels here, they're pretty good. Uh, if you've got an auger, uh, a motorised auger, even better. Um, but yeah, so basically we're just going to dig these holes and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so when you buy a full privacy panel from our website, it comes in a cardboard box like this, and it comes with a top and bottom rail and the infill panels. Now, you wanna buy uh, the post separately. The reason we do that is because everyone's needs are different. You might need an end post, a middle post, or a gate post, um, so yeah. All right, so before we put these posts in, I personally like to put a little mark where the post is going to sit on the string line because the string line is nice and level that means the mark that we put on here goes to the string line uh, that means you can get all the posts nice and level throughout the job so if you have a look on here this is where the bottom rail sits now i like to just transfer a tiny little mark across onto the post now to be more accurate it's probably best to actually measure from the top down where the bottom of that rail sits and then do it from there Okay, so uh, I'll do that for the video's sake. So we're looking at around about 1850. So get that on there and measure 1850. Now, because we've also marked these uh, 2450 centers, you wanna find the center uh, of this post as well. So how you work that out, the posts are 127 uh, millimetres wide and so you just want to find the centre of that and just mark that also in the middle so then when you're laying out your rail, um, you can lay that rail basically to line up that middle mark so you know you're on point. Alright, so we're going to put our first post in. So this post I've chosen to be the one-way post, so you can see it's got the cutouts top and bottom on one side of the post, the other side is completely nice and flush. So basically, I'm going to drop this down into the right position. Now remembering we get down to that mark onto the string line, pull that root out of the way. Now, <clears throat> for the video uh, purposes of this installation video, I'm not going to concrete this in, I'm just going to pour some dirt around it. But you must, I repeat, you must put concrete around your posts and make sure it's nice and sturdy um, but because we're doing a few installation videos today I'm going to be using the same hole for a variety of different fences so um, yeah so get your post down onto that line onto that string line which ensures that the post is at the right height and then you just want to get a little level and make sure that that's right in the right position level and against your string line and we're in a pretty good spot there, so. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put our next post in. So basically we're gonna use this rail, which is our center rail. And if you remember, we'll hold it onto that center mark on our post that we've put in before. 
Now, whether you've poured concrete into this hole already, um, it's actually quite easy to uh, drop these in. A little trick that I like to use, and if that tree wasn't there, it'd be a lot easier, is that you sort of hold this like a pendulum and you let it find its level. And you get that right, that rail about center of the post and you just slide that in down towards the rail and down towards the string line. We're sitting a little bit low there, so that's because we don't have concrete in here yet. Um, so basically get your level on there and you might need to shift it around uh, a few times to get that in the perfect position. Um, but once you get in the right position, you can either pour concrete around it or if it's already been concreted, you can just leave it and let it uh, set. And basically, you want to basically keep doing this for every single post and every single panel along your fence line. And uh, really, that's the hardest part of putting this fence together. Right, so we've got these two posts uh, effectively concreted in. Obviously, in this video, we've just packed it with dirt, but you must concrete it in. Um, so now we're going to put in our bottom rail. Now, you know it's the bottom rail because it's got a little bit of aluminium down here in the bottom, which just helps strengthen that bottom rail to effectively uh, stop sagging. So as you can see, you've got these little clips here uh, on the bottom rail and also on the top rail. Now, what you want to do, if you want to come in a little bit closer, Zach, and just zoom in here. Um, we're just going to slot it into this panel here. Now, just give that a little a bit of a wiggle, a little bit of a push, and that just pops in there. So then you come over to the other end, and effectively give that a little bit of a push as well. Make sure that's nice and in there. All right, that's a bottom rail. Now, we don't want to put the top rail in yet. What we want to do next is uh, put in our infill panels. All right, now it's time to put in these uh, solid little uh, PVC infills in. Now, basically, the easiest way to do this is just to start from the bottom and work your way in like that. Now, because this is your first one against the post, the pack also comes with two of these little U-channels, and that's just to really close up the gap on the end. So I'm gonna slide that down on here. And then I'm just gonna give that a little, little tap onto there like that. And then basically we just go along and finish that off. So, All right, so what you wanna do now once you get to the end is also slide in this last little U channel at the end. So now that we've got the infill panels in, uh, you probably will notice there's a little bit of flex in the posts, uh, but that's just because we haven't concreted our posts in. Like I said, you must concrete your posts in, but for the purposes of this video, we've just, uh, we've just put some dirt packed it around. So what we need to do now is put in the uh, top rail. Now, this is a little bit of uh, a, trick, a little bit of a tricky bit, but um, once you do one, uh, you'll be able to do the rest pretty quick. So first of all, you really want to just sort of slide it in like so, and then just get that into that right slot hole there, and give that a good push. Now that will slide through there. Yeah, get a tree like that in the way. It's a bit harder. Now, you want to sort of get this down to that right slot hole there as well. And give this a bit of a slot, and Oh, pop that in. Now, make sure those U-channels are nice and hard up against the post. And uh, our post is still level, which is good.
And there you have it guys, a uh, beautiful full privacy PVC fence. It's nice and sturdy as you can see. Um, and it gives uh, the white is a really nice crisp look, especially uh, this works perfectly if you've got a Hampton style home. And uh, so, you know, as we said before, we've got a one end, uh, one way post on the end there to start our fence. This here is our two way post. So you might not be able to see, but we've got some slot holes here. We can just continue on to go with this fence. Now, if you're doing a length and you're coming to the end of uh, your fence, and you go, well, you know, a, a 24.50 center isn't gonna work, um, you can actually cut these panels down very, very easily. All you need to do is to trim the bottom rail and the top rail, and then one of these infill panels, either with a small uh, uh, angle grinder, and you, you might be worried about the cut, while well, the cut of the top and bottom rail are gonna be hidden inside the post. They're not gonna have those little notches um, uh, that you have on them uh, from the manufacturer, but uh, to basically, um, to make sure that they don't slide out, you can put a little screw before you put the infill, infill panels in, put it down a little screw down into this little trench here and down inside the post just to make sure it doesn't slide out. Um, and then also when, the, when this infill panel is cut, remember you've got this U-channel here which will hide any of the rough edges uh, from your cut. Um, yeah, apart from that, pretty straightforward. And also, if you want to finish off your fence, um, we haven't put the caps on, but we do have on the website uh, some beautiful slimline caps, as you can see in the product photos, uh, or some uh, stylish English style caps, which are also on the website. So when you come to a corner, we sell on our uh, website some 90 degree posts. So you've got slot holes here, and you'll have some slot holes on the face of this one here, so you can keep continuing on with the direction of the fence in a 90 degree angle. Um, if you want to go on a 45 degree angle, there are ways around it. Um, you can file out the hole so the rail can have a bit of flex in it. Uh, personally, I actually like to buy two of the one-way posts. So you have a one-way post like this, you also post, you make the hole a bit bigger, and you post on the angle that you want it to be another post, and then continue the fence then on a 45 degree angle. 